Have you ever found yourself in this predicament? I know I have. Hi, Skip01, world famous YouTuber. And if you're like me, you go to manufacturer's website and expect their dimensions to be correct. Well, here I am. I cut it out to the exact dimensions it says, and it's not right. So, what do we do? Throw the whole box away? <laughs> I wish I could. Wouldn't be the first time. No, we here have the 12 volt tools CPR bit. Join me and I will show you exactly how to make this circle bigger. <laughs> of course it doesn't fit. Why would it? All right, so this is a perfect example of why you need the 12 volt tools CPR bit. So as you can see, this cutout is too small for this Rockville. So that's where this baby comes in handy. It should make, each pass should take away uh, 1 16th from the cutout hole. So let's see how many it takes. All right, so what this is doing is making a rabbit bit and I'm gonna go trace it all the way out. Then the second one pass, the Baron is gonna ride on the top. It's gonna ride on the top cutout that it just made. So you get 1 16th off around the whole thing. Let's try if this works. All right, I hope you can see that. It cut, it's hard to see it on this birch wood since it's layers, but you can kind of see, yeah, you can kind of see it right here. It cut a pass around this whole thing. So that top bearing is gonna ride on that pass and then cut out the rest of this material. Let's see if that works out. Let me set my bearing height. So I hope you can see in there, I got that top bearing riding on the bit, uh, riding out the rabbit I just cut. So now this is gonna take off, like I said, 1 16th of an inch on each time I do this pass. So let's try, let's try another pass. I mean, uh, finish, complete this pass. try see if I need some more passes a little bit better but maybe one more one more time around let's try it out Try it again. Close. Close. Cut. This one you can see a little bit better. You can see the cut it makes right there. So then, like I said, that's what this lined up all the way at the top. And then you're gonna put it down to this next bearing and it's gonna flush trim all of that. Let's try that real quick. So we got it. Hi. So we got it lined up on the top route out. Now let's give it a pass. And there we go. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Now let's see if we fit F up right there. <laughs> what I did. Just, just a total F up. Now let's see if that, that did enough to make it fit. And there we go. Flush as a royal. Does that make sense? No. Looks snug too. A little bit of rumble, but snug. Let's go.